Hello, in this video I'm going to share with you one little tip about a setting in your camera that you should absolutely turn off if you're doing deep sky astrophotography, but if you accidentally leave it on, I will also show you a way to fix that in post on your computer. So a few nights ago I was shooting the Orion Nebula from my balcony, from my city actually, and it turned out spectacular. By the end of the video I will show you my final result it might surprise you because I was shooting it from Bordel 7. But anyway, I was shooting that and I was shooting my light frames and then flats and biases and also darks because I wanted to take advantage of the entire pre-production process that I can do right now on my computer. So I was shooting with my camera, I have it on, I had it on the tracker obviously and to shoot the uh, actual light frames my camera was something like this, so it was vertically and the camera was actually detecting its orientation and it was flipping those images with regards to its orientation and that is the setting that I would recommend you to turn off because what happened is that I was shooting my light frames vertically then I had my camera straight up like straight up like this because I had my tablet on top of here as I was shooting my uh, flat frames and then for biases I also left it on like this straight up and the gyroscope in the camera was kind of giving different readings so some of my images were read to be horizontal some of them were read to be vertical but if they were vertical I didn't really know if it was counterclockwise or clockwise or however the camera decided to rotate those images and then for my darks I just left the camera like on the floor like this horizontally and I was taking my dark so then when I imported all of these images into Lightroom what I ended up discovering is that some of those images were vertical some of those images were horizontal and especially with flats and biases it was mixed some of them were horizontal some of them were vertical and I didn't know what to do because obviously normally if you're shooting like regular photography it's not a problem because you can just see what's the subject in your image and rotate it accordingly but for calibration frames for deep sky astrophotography you can really you don't see any features on those images so you don't know how to rotate and also there is no easy way to kind of apply the same rotation and sync it in Lightroom across all of your images. So it was a supposed to be a very long and tedious process and I was actually kind of devastated because I didn't know what to do because if you do it wrong and you stack your images where one of the images is flipped like this and you stack it like this and use it for calibration you may end up not removing hot pixels, vignetting, noise etc but actually introducing more artifacts into your image. So you should absolutely turn off the automatic rotation of your images if your camera has that feature and if it does, if it's a modern camera, it probably is turned on by default so remember to switch it off. But I didn't, so I'm going to show you how you can actually fix this very easily on your computer. So what you need to do is download a free program that is called EXIF tool, it works on both Windows and Mac OS, you can just download it from this site, link to it will be of course in the description of this video and this is a console application so you just need to open the terminal app or the command line on Windows, navigate to the folder where you have your raw files and then in console you can type exif tool space minus orientation with a capital O space and then asterisk and hit enter and this will list the orientation of all of those files in this folder. The asterisk is a wildcard so you can actually specify a single name of a single file that you want to check your orientation or you can just type asterisk and that will list all of the files that are in that directory and just by looking at the list you can see if you have that problem if some of the images are rotated in a different way with regards to other images and in order to batch update the orientation metadata tag because actually orientation is one of the EXIF metadata tags that is stored right in your raw files and you can actually overwrite it in a batch using the EXIF tool. So in order to do that, in order to reset everything to the default horizontal like no orientation, all you have to do is just type EXIF tool space and again minus orientation but now equals one then space dash n and the dash n option tells the program to interpret the value of the orientation as a number so one is the no orientation value and then again asterisk if you want to apply that to all of the images in this directory then hit enter and EXIF tool will override the orientation metadata for all of those images and then you can safely stack them in Deep Sky Stacker, Serial or whatever you are using and don't worry about the fact that some of them might be flipped or something like this and if you're worried that the program is actually 
altering your raw files because that is kind of scary. It is also copying the backup version, the untouched version of your original rows and leaving them in in that directory. So you have the altered rows with fixed orientation and the originals again in case something went wrong. So that's a quick tip for me for today. Definitely don't forget to turn off the auto rotation feature in your camera. And if you accidentally leave it on in this video, you just learned a trick how to fix that on your computer. If you want to learn more tricks about photography and astrophotography, definitely check out these two tutorials and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I have a lot of stuff planned for 2021. Give this video a like, I would really appreciate it. And now let's see the image that I produced that night.